Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm at Booth of Console in Tech Process in Atlanta 2023 and I'm with Dave, a very good friend, a uh, real, real friend. And he's at the uh, booth and he's going to show us some of the, we're going to go through some of the sewing machines that they have here at the booth. He's gonna, we're going to go very fast over all the, pretty much all the sewing machines. This is, I'm going to give a span of the, the booth right here all this beautiful industrial sewing machine that they have. And I tell you, I've been walking around really with all different brands that I don't want to name, mention their names. Contra has, for the price and the quality and the service and the warranty, has one of the best prices and best quality of sewing machines. So okay, Dave, we're gonna start from here. We're gonna go one by one, very quick. What is this machine? So this is our 7360R-2DD-1. It's a plain sewer. Uh, just drop feed and it has a direct drive motor so you get needle positioning and the motor built in uh, and a drop feed plain sewing machine. Not full function, it's Not full standard function. function. That's so. standard functions. With the, you do get the needle positioning. Needle positioning, direct drive, very clean sewing machine. Uh, and adjust the speed and needle positioning from the control panel on the front. And, and it's uh, control, it has the oil pan for the oil. Yes, for the oil pan for the oil. Very nice. Self oiler. That's a 73. 60R-2DD-1. Uh, very nice. And now we're going to go to the next one, right here. Uh, next to it, we have our 7360R-7DD-2, which is a similar model, but a full function version. Okay. So you have all of the full function uh, features like trimming, uh, needle up, needle down, uh, auto back tag, all of the programming is con controlled by the uh, control panel. So one of the machine. things is that somebody has this and wants to upgrade this, they don't need to upgrade the table and legs. Everything would fall in the same it table and legs. It would fall on the same table and legs, that's correct. All right, so here is next one. Here we have our CN897VC. This is an industrial cover stitch uh, sewing machine. Cylinder uh, bed. This is the cylinder bed version. We also make it in a, in a flat version. Um, a, Typical traditional three needle, uh, five thread top and bottom. Correct. Beautiful. Okay. CN897. Ah. And next to it we have uh, the flatbed version, uh, but this is the dash 70D. So you have all of the full functions: uh, the uh, auto and uh, foot lift. Uh, you can see the trimming mechanism. Uh, so you have uh, trimmers, direct drive, direct foot drive lifter. motor, and the foot lifter as well. Yeah. So this is more here is more garment. Uh, I mean. For garment sewing. Garment sewing. Yes. Okay. Um, on the other side of this uh, this table, we have our overlock machines. Uh, so here you have just a plain direct drive uh, overlock. This is five uh, thread. This is the uh, five thread. Yep. CM seven ninety five dash DD. So just the direct drive features. Um, and next to it, we have the dash seven DD version, uh, four thread. Uh, but again, you get all the full function features. Full function, with auto the lift. 7DD, uh, this, uh, with uh, air or electric? I believe oh. it's... Uh, what? Vacuum, vacuum. I think you need yes. vacuum and yes. you need air. Yes. I don't know dear, but I think... Okay, and this one is the most popular. We, we, we did a lot of video on this one. This is the 226RB-14-7. Uh, uh, full function. A walking foot model, 14 inches of workspace, and you have all the uh, full function controls, auto back tack. Great machine, um, great frame machine. Electric foot lift. Uh, yes, great all right. machine. So, our most popular. Machine. Most popular frame machine. Okay, we're gonna go to here now. So this is also a 14 inch walking foot uh, single needle machine, P1510 RB-14-7 DD. Uh, for right now, it just comes in 220 volt. Uh, but this is a drop-in bobbin uh, machine versus yes. the 2206, top which load. is a, a side load. So here you have the, the uh, top load bobbin. Uh, we'll handle slightly heavier thread and material uh, because it's a top load machine. So I see you have the knee lifter here, but this, this and one... It comes with both a knee lift and uh, an air foot lift. This is going to be an air foot lift system. Also comes with a knee lift if you operator prefers the, uh, to use that. So this is the main difference between this one and the 2206RB. This one is 18, and this also is 14 inch. 
They're both uh, 14. This one, this this model is available at a 14, 18, or 25 inch. Wow. Uh, on, the 14 on. inch is, is comparable to the 2206. Again, this one's going to be drop-in bobbin versus uh, the side load bobbin on the 2206. Very nice. So let's do that one because that one is a 339 RB. Is it? Uh, it's a 255. Oh, 255. So it's a single needle also. Top load. Uh, which is the top load. This is a model that we've been making, uh, you know, so many so for uh, more than 50 years, I would say. Um, we've put some uh, automatic features on this model, uh, which we can do for any of our machines, which is, uh, you know, an air foot lift. Um, this doesn't have the trimming, but you do have the air foot lift. Um, and we've put a reverse knuckle switch here, uh, which again, we can do for any of our sewing machines, uh, where you get uh, the automatic reverse, the reverse from right here. Uh, rather than having to use the lever. We're showing it on a short arm uh, version. It may not be as, uh, as needed, but if you're looking at some of our long arms, putting a little reverse knuckle switch where the operator doesn't have to reach 25 inches over to the reverse lever, this can be really uh, you know, advantageous. Beautiful, so this is full with air control. No Correct. We put some additional functions function on this to on. the basic uh, for for display at the show. Okay. So now console is also now a. Uh, uh, so we uh, in the last few years we bought U.S. blind stitch and we're now making brand new U.S. blind stitch sewing machines. Wow. Uh, we've copied everything uh, exactly from the prints of the old U.S. blind stitch, and so these are brand new. Uh, it's brand new ones. Brand new. Uh, Where are these made from? They're made in China. They're made Again, in China. Again, we. Uh, you know, we've used all the same prints uh, and, and same same parts as the original U.S. blind stitch. Model, how many uh, how many different models of U.S. blind stitch you have? Right now we have two. There's the 1118-4, which is the plate model, and we have an 1118-9, which uh, comes with the large work plate for drapery. So drapery, heavier, so. heavier, heavier material. And these are the add-on, the needle positioning system, right needle here. Needle positioning is an add-on from another one of our companies, no Clinton. Uh, and the trimming, uh, the, the trimming feature uh, is also an add-on for one of our other companies. Beautiful. So now you guys know if you want the U.S. original U.S. blind stitch, you come to goldstartool.com. So we, let's let's move here. I just want to show you guys that all of these are Clinton um, devices. Part, devices Parts that you could devices, yeah. add trimmers, to. cutters. That you put uh, on to sewing machine. Vacuum suction uh, devices, all of that is stuff that Unbelievable. We, we, we carry and make now. Beautiful. Okay, here we have the. Uh, we actually have this one in our website. The. Um, CM591, that's the hand crank button sewer made by Chandler, uh, mostly for the dry cleaning or tailoring industry. And uh, this is operated usually on a pedestal stand, not a, a sewing machine yeah. stand with a motor. Um, and the operator just has to uh, hand by hand, rather than uh, high speed uh, our 241 model, uh, high speed uh, button sewing machine. But you could do only the flat button with this one, right? You do flat but buttons, but you could do the two hole and the four hole. Four hole, two hole or four, beautiful. Okay, next one. These are pretty and much you this. small or large. So small. you could use. All different size buttons, two and four hole buttons. It's mainly for dry cleaners or tailoring shops where you're replacing buttons a lot. Um, and you know, where you're gonna bring the garment over here for one or two buttons and put them on. It's not gonna be for industrial production. Yes, yeah, for the, yeah. So this is pretty much here yeah. for the tailors yeah, or dry cleaners yeah. right here. Blind stitch, right. Right. that's what I want. industrial blind stitch, our CM101. It's a Lewis style blind stitch. Um, yeah, just on display, and then uh, the portable our, our portable model 75T. Uh, now, all of these things, we are big, uh, huge um, movers of console sewing machine. We try to sell console a lot, and you are successful at it. And these are the uh, we have a uh, home or semi industrial type uh, overlock machines, we have the uh, semi industrial cover stitch. Uh, this, so this is just going to be cover stitch only. Uh, this model next to it, the uh, 14TU854 is overlock only, and then our 14TU2345 will, we call it a cover lock because it's a combination of the cover stitch and overlock. You can do both cover stitch and overlock. So, so this is that. five thread, Correct. that one is four thread, and the other one is three, three thread, Correct. but cover that stitch. cover stitch. Cover All right. stitch. And let's move here. I'm going to move here. 
this is very popular uh, skiving machine that we have on our website and everybody has the DCS-S4 uh, is our skiving machine if you're sewing uh, leather and you need to uh, skive off some of the, uh, the, the material underneath the leather that you're sewing to make it softer to fold over uh, that's what you would use a skiving machine for. very nice okay. we're gonna go move to the let's start where you, where you want to start the long arm from here Sure, we'll go to the regular 206. Here we have our most popular machine, the 206RB-5, single needle uh, side load walking foot. I think this uh, is the most popular, probably the most popular walking foot machine, machine in, in, the, the world. In, the, in the world, in the country for sure. Um, and then behind it we have uh, the similar model, the 206 RBL30-1. Uh, so this is a, a single needle walking foot 30 inch, uh, 30 inch, uh, 30 inch machine. Wow. So we've got a, a, a 10 and a half inch workspace and then a 30 inch workspace. We also make the 18 and 25. We just don't have them on display here. Right. I mean, there is a lot of sewing machine on display, but you can't just bring everything. There is not no, enough. Not enough space. And All right. It's a lot of. Uh, 74. 745R30. So this is a double needle. Uh, very okay. heavy duty walking foot. You can see the material that's underneath there as a sample used for uh, tents, tarps, uh, really heavy, uh, heavy applications. We can it is a drop in. Drop, drop in bobbin, will handle very heavy 27, 207 or 277 thread, um, and it's really going to be used for, uh, for, for very heavy sewing. All right, beautiful. Next one. Is that... uh, we could start over, over here. This is the, the 339 RB4, which is a double needle uh, walking foot. Again, a, a model that Conso has made for uh, you know, about 50 years. It doesn't change much. Double needle. Uh, but points. this one, the standard, comes quarter inch uh, spacing, but you could go from anywhere from uh, 1 8 to about an inch and three quarters. Uh, and uh, it's going to be double needle walking foot. We have it as a walking foot and also a needle feed version um, if you don't have such heavy material. But this is a standard, uh, common, common. one of our more popular machines that we sell. Okay. Next to it, so we have two needle, single needle, two needle, and now we've got the four needle lock stitch, which is a uh, model 4214D. This is uh, going to be chain stitch. No, lock stitch. Lock, oh, lock, lock stitch, stitch. I'm sorry. For parachutes and other similar type applications, you've got four needles, four hooks, two on each side. Beautiful. Um, and this is a, uh, a, a, a also a drop feed sewing machine, so it's for lighter weight materials it's, as opposed to walking foot. And it has a puller. also carry. It does come with a built-in puller. So again, uh, very common and very popular in the parachute industry, where you pull in the material through, it's lightweight, um, and uh, you're getting the four needles at, at one time. Beautiful. Where are we going after this? Next door or? Uh, sure. Yeah, we go next door. Uh, so next to it we have. Um, this is the needle. double needle cylinder bed. So similar to the three thirty nine, it's a similar kind of cylinder bed. Uh, and then we have the four needle walking foot. Uh, it's a similar casting. The top part, but this is going to be for uh, people who need a cylinder because they're doing tubular uh, type applications. So this is a double needle walking foot. Uh, with a large bobbin and a uh, large cylinder. And then next to it, you have our 277, which is gonna be a, a much narrower cylinder. So if you're doing certain purses or uh, with certain uh, applications where you need a real uh, small diameter cylinder, this one's gonna be, uh, be uh, a more appropriate model. So you've got standard flatbed sewing machines. Here you have our walking foot uh, cylinder sewing machines. And if you keep going, you'll find our walking foot post bed sewing machines. Again, wow. the castings are all very similar. Um, in walking foot, we have a single needle and double needle, uh, but we go uh, flat, cylinder, and, and post bed. Oh, this no. particular model, the 369, is, is split bar, so uh, it's gonna be specifically for uh, sewing corners, where, you, where one needle uh, will sew at one up. time, one needle can stay up, and one needle can stay down. Uh, when, when you get to those standard gauge, standard gauge is uh, 516, so 516, this, which is common for the uh, auto and uh, the upholstery industry. Very nice, beautiful. And here is the most popular. I sell a lot of these. 
It's the uh, 220 R11. Another, this is single needle post bed uh, with a roller foot, uh, used for uh, a lot of different applications. Patches. Sewing patches on hats is a common one. It's also for uh, uh, could be used for upholstery, uh, lightweight uh, type of uh, upholstery um, or uh, that type of material. Uh, but it comes with a roller foot, single needle. Uh, and uh, you get the post plate as well. Reverse, stitch length, and then you have them for the weeks too. We also have it, uh, we, we, we put a dome uh, shape structure on the post. If we have uh, need to sew uh, wigs or hats or other things, this can be, uh, can be used. One of the best sellers that I sell a lot of this machine. Uh, beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna go to some of the new ones that, okay, so here, bunch of coolers. And here is the most popular, I think, motor that console sells. The console, the... Um, it's the a family-style motor, servo motor, so you have the, uh, the adjustable speed, um, and it's also going to be energy efficient. Yeah, so it's very basic. Again, you have the energy efficiency because it's a servo motor, um, and you do have the benefit of the, uh, the adjustable speed, which, which people like. This is, uh, this, is, this is a brushless servo motor. This is a new, new model for us. Um, it's actually 1,000 watts. Wow. So uh, comparable. So the, the, the standard servo is 550 watts. We also have, we carried a 750 watt motor for the last several years. And now we have available 1,000 watt motor. So for the really super heavy duty applications, 733s, and um, where you're really sewing through thick but materials. But it's really tiny. This will, uh, this will have the, it is tiny, but, but that's how the, yes. how the technology has evolved. It's incredibly powerful, 1,000 watts, which is the equivalent of about 1.3 horsepower. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here is the regular 7360 RB. This is a big RB. 7360 RB direct drive. So you have a direct drive motor that's built in. It gives you needle positioning uh, up and down. Uh, and it's got a, also it's got a big bobbin. Big bobbin. M bobbin. M bobbin. Well. All right. And now uh, this is the new one that I wanted to show people. Uh, behind it we have a, a, a long arm version of uh, the 7360 RB. Uh, you get we have uh, 18, 18 inch, inches 18 inches and 25 inches. This is uh, 18 inch. Um, and again, it comes with the uh, direct drive motor and control box, so it's going to get full function with trimmers. Uh, Lift, back tack. And this is pretty heavy. Um, it's drop feed, so it's drop not going to be super heavy. It's not a walking yes. machine. But look at uh, this. It is, uh, it regular is single needle. Regular single needle. Like a, a, our, our 8700 series. And um, here. And this is the same model, 25 inch, without the full function feature, so it's going to be plain uh, motor driven. Uh, 736 RBL 25. So we have. Uh, Plain, 10 and a half inch workspace, 18 and 25. This is the, the 25. Uh, could be used for quilting, uh, other types of long arm sewing applications if you want it. Uh, and this one should be, be And we have all of this information on our website, goldstartool.com. Or if you don't find it on our website, you just call me, David, at goldstartool.com, where we have a lot of, you know, my agent. I can agents. show you here a couple of other things. Yes, let's go. Um, uh, we can go around this table. Here we have our uh, portable walking foot machine. This is the CP206 uh, RL. Yes. Which is going to be just the straight stitch uh, single needle. Yes. Uh, portable. Comes with a handle on top so you can bring it and carry it. Uh, put it in operating Two locations. Anyway. It has a built in motor and it comes with a foot pedal which is not connected right now. That you can uh, again you can use this anywhere we have a new model which um, is the zigzag version so we've only had the zigzag version of this for uh, the last few months it's the cp146 rl um, so you can see it's, it is a walking foot as well um, so you can do straight or zigzag and so, uh, for a slight, slightly uh, higher cost uh, versus the uh, two cp206 uh, we can give you a straight stitch and zigzag in the, in the CP146 And it's 7 inch, right? I this think is uh, 9 inches, I think, uh, is the, work, oh, yeah, the yeah, workspace. Yeah. No, it was on the other side. The uh, 
workspace says eight, eight, eight and a half inches or eight inch five inches, so close to nine inches. Uh, the space between the needle and the uh, and it's portable. It has okay. its own motor in the back, and then all that. Okay. Here is the. Uh, we have one example of our uh, uh, 2053 series. This is the 2093, uh, which has an oil pan. Uh, it's full self boiler as opposed to the 2053, which is uh, semi-automatic lubrication. Uh, this one is the direct drive version. So again, a lot of our machines you'll notice on display now come with uh, direct drive uh, available with direct drives. That seems to be uh, the way the industry is going. It, it gives you additional functions like the needle positioning. So this one is a direct drive motor, uh, 2093. So you, again, you can do straight stitch or zigzag. Um, and uh, we'll come with an oil pan so you're, uh, you get the fully automatic lubrication. Right. And then uh, on the other side here, we have our 199, which is gonna be more industrial, heavier duty, uh, more workspace, you get your standard 10 and a half inch workspace versus uh, 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 eight and a half inches on the 2093. This is available as a walking foot or, or a drop feet. And as a long arm too. You buy. A long arm 30 inch as well. Popular for the sail industry, the, the long arm is the marine industry, um, or other uh, types of applications like that. Um, and then just next to it, we have our uh, 347 R-1A-1, which is going to be the uh, off the arm zigzag. Uh, off the arm zigzag. Uh, you can see that the castings are very similar shaped. Uh, this one just you have the off the arm features for those types of applications. And this is the reverse, probably here. Yeah. That is the reverse that yeah, is correct. Wow. So what, 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 why is this in shape? I mean... Well, you can imagine if you have certain tu tubular applications... Oh, uh, you want to put where, it in. ...where you're folding it this way and it's coming down the material. Ah, that's it. Where, uh, you know, that you're sewing, uh, sewing around. Whereas on the flatbed, you can't get that... Uh, that, that on that uh, one. Very nice. Material. Uh, look at this monster. Wow. So this is now our 733 R-6. We still do make the R-5. The newest model uh, will has a clearance under the under the presser foot of 34 millimeters. The R-5 was 32 millimeters. So uh, the newest machine uh, has a slightly higher clearance under the foot. It can accommodate the uh, 6x3 needle, which is the heaviest uh, needle that's available, and really is going to be used for very heavy webbings. Very heavy. Why would you still want to carry the Dash 5? I mean, if it's, it's a little bit cheaper. cheaper. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper than the uh, the Dash 6. Some of the components are a little bit less. So, um, again, it might get phased out over time, but for right now, we do have both, both machines available. Beautiful. Wow. And what thread type here? Oh, you can use very th heavy thread, 415 or even higher. 415 bonded uh, nylon thread. Yeah. Holy. All right. Here is the P339. And last but not least, uh, well, I guess we have one, one other small thing. Yeah, but I want to, can you yeah. tell pe people the difference between premier line and the console? Sure. Original line. And I, I asked you the question. Sure, why I do mean, you the premier line is, is it's a lower, um, it's, it's a lower price point. So again, we're competing at, as, as a lot of companies are competing at different price points in the market. And so the components that go into the premier line are a little bit, uh, are, are Exclusively Chinese-made components, Chinese hooks, for example. Um, and so, while the quality is still very good, it's going to be a lower price point, uh, a lower price point compared to uh, the regular 339. Um, here we're showing the double needle in an 18-inch uh, workspace with six-inch clearance under the casting. So we call it uh, the P2339 RBLH. H is for the higher clearance, um, and L for the longer uh, long arm. So we have 18 inches six inch clearance. This is the single needle version of it, which is the, the standard 10 and a half inch workspace and, and four inch clearance under that. 1255 RB-1, beautiful, beautiful. All right, okay, one more table and then. One more table and we'll, we'll call it a day. Day, that's uh, it. Here we have our P1541, which is uh, similar to the Juki 1541 series. 
uh, single needle walking foot. It has a Kanto uh, 206 style uh, uh, safety clutch, which is a nice feature. Um, and, and one of the different, one of the key differences, it has this uh, nice climbing device uh, on top to adjust the uh, the height of the presser feet. So when you want to the, the height of the presser feet to sometimes you want to, if you're doing uh, just going flat, you want to look the steps to not be too high, you would adjust this down. You don't have to change any screws or adjust any screws in the back. You just have this kind of nice uh, adjustable time. That for the middle, uh, for the middle foot to go up and down. I mean. Correct. And you can see also uh, casting's a bit heavier duty. So this is going to be a little bit of a heavier duty model compared to the 206. Um, and you're going to gain the, the uh, advantage of the, the climbing device here. So Very that's our nice. 1541, like I said, similar to the GP1541. Uh, this is the Premier model, B1206, RB-1. This is like a 206 Which RB. is like the 206 RB. Again, it's the Premier line, so it's going to be slightly less expensive, um, competing at a lower price point, uh, a lower price point model. Uh, again, single needle, walking foot, so it's going to be for your upholsteries, tents, tarps, canvases, heavy applications, uh, single needle, just, just straight stitch. Beautiful. And then two more left here, and we're going to be... Uh, last but not least, these are going to be similar to the model that we had in operation that we showed uh, earlier. This is a, a P1565. So this is a double needle walking foot with a split bar in the Premier oh. Series. So again, you have the, uh, for, for sewing uh, corners, you have the, uh, the two needles, uh, large bobbins, walking foot. And uh, this is gonna be the double needle with the split bar. Walking foot. And then we have uh, the same model, long arm, uh, without the split bar, it's the P1560 Series. Again, all these are available in 14, 18, and 25 inch models. This one that we're showing is the, the 25. 25 direct drive, I mean, not direct drive, it's uh, This I, one is not, this is a plane. Air. It comes with an air foot lift if, you, if the customer wants it. It can also come with, without air, just a plain foot lift. Um, and this one is direct drive, full function. So you do get trimmers, auto back tab, 220 air lift, uh, only available in 220 volt. Beautiful. This is great. I didn't even know you guys have this one. Yeah. A lot of my customers calling for double That's needle a split bar. So yeah, if you don't see it on our website, that doesn't mean that console doesn't have it or you don't have it. You could call in or go on our website. I want to thank David from console for helping me out. They have many, many other sewing machines here and in the style obviously. But if you guys need anything, please go on our website, goldstar.com. Number one console dealer i think in, in, in usa in the usa yep thank you so much thank you for thank you david thank, thank you, you david. thank you for watching have a wonderful day everyone thank you